Hello guys and welcome back to another lecture. I am making this video in response to a question someone had on how to transfer a file to an instance in the private subnet. So this is the project the person is working on and he wants to know how to transfer a file to an instance in a private subnet. I have set up my environment in the management console and I'm going to show you how to transfer a file to an instance in the private subnet. If you haven't worked on this project, feel free to check out this project. I think it's a good project for a beginner. So to start, let's go in the management console. In the management console, I have already created my environment and I have an EC2 instance in the private subnet. So if I go under EC2 and I select instance running, you can see I have one EC2 instance in here. And if I select it, you can see that it is in the private subnet because I only have a private IP address. I don't have any public IP address. So let's say I have a file on my computer and this is the files. And I want to move these files to a directory on that EC2 instance in the private subnet. The first thing I'm going to do is create an S3 bucket in my account and upload these files to that S3 bucket. So I'll minimize. I'm going to go back to the management console and I'm going to select services. I'll select S3. I'm going to create a new bucket. I'll give my bucket a name. Once you've entered your bucket name, you can choose the region you want to put your bucket in. We are going to leave everything else as default and scroll down and select create bucket. I've created my bucket. You can see it here. I'm going to select it. Then I'm going to upload my files to this S3 bucket. The method I like to use is the drag and drop. I'll select upload first and I'm just going to move this here and I'm going to open the folder on my computer and these are the files that I want to move to my EC2 instance. So what I'll do is I'm going to select all these files let me move this somewhere here and i'm just going to drag and drop them in here and once i drag and drop them you can see all those files here now and i'm going to scroll down and select upload i've now successfully upload all those files to my s3 bucket and you can see them here just close this and in the s3 bucket i created you can see this is my bucket name and you can see those files in there. The next thing we are going to do is create an IAM role. So I'm going to select services and I'm going to come down to security, identity and compliance, select IAM. In the IAM dashboard, I'm going to select roles and I'm going to select create role. It is going to be an AWS service role. And the service that is going to use this role is an EC2 instance. So I'll select EC2. I'll click next for permissions. Under permissions, we are going to attach an existing policy to this role. And the policy we want is an S3 policy. So in the search box, I'm going to type S3. Under your search results, you can use any of these S3 policies you want. But the one I want to use is the Amazon S3 full access. I'll select it and select next for tags. I'm not going to give it any tag. Select next to review. Give your role a name. I'll call it S3 role. And I'm going to leave the description as it is. And I'm going to select create role. And we have successfully created our role and you can see it here. So any EC2 instance we attach this role to will be able to access S3 and download any file from our S3 bucket. The next thing we are going to do is attach this S3 role to our EC2 instance that is currently running in the private subnet. To do that, I'm going to select services and I'm going to select EC2 on that compute. So browse to your EC2 instance in the private subnet. I'm going to select my instance. And I'm going to select my EC2 instance that is in the private subnet. And once you have selected the EC2 instance in the private subnet that you want to copy the file to, select Actions. 
and come down and select security and select modify IAM rule. In here, you will see the option to add an IAM rule. We are going to select the drop down and we are going to select the S3 rule we just created and select save. And we have successfully added the S3 rule to this EC2 instance in the private subnet. Now we can SSH into this EC2 instance and copy the file we uploaded to our S3 bucket. To SSH into an EC2 instance in the private subnet, we need a bastion host. So what that means is we are just going to create another EC2 instance in the public subnet. Then we will SSH into that EC2 instance. Then from that EC2 instance in the public subnet, we can SSH into our EC2 instance in the private subnet, which is this one. The project has a video on how to SSH into an instance in the private subnet and it is right here. So make sure you watch this video. I'm going to go back to the management console. And in the management console, let's create another EC2 instance in the public subnet. I'm going to select launch instances. I'm going to select my AMI, which is Amazon Linux 2 AMI. It is going to be T2 micro. Select next to configure instance detail. On that network, we are going to select the drop down, put it in our VPC. On that subnet, I'm going to select the drop down. Make sure you put it in a public subnet. So I'm going to select my public subnet one. Then we are going to click next to add storage. We're going to leave that as default. Click next for tag. We're going to leave it as default. Click next to add security group. I'm going to choose an existing security group and I'm going to select the security group I created for my SSH. So if you look at this security group, I have port 22 open. I'm going to click next to review, review everything and launch this EC2 instance. I'm going to add a key pair to it, acknowledge that I have access to that key pair and click launch instances. And I'm going to view my instances. And we are now creating that EC2 instance in the public subnet. Once that instance is available, we are going to first SSH into that instance. Then once we SSH into the EC2 instance in the public subnet, we are going to SSH into the instance in the private subnet. So maybe I should name this public server. My EC2 instance in the public subnet is now available. If I select it, and you can tell it is in the public subnet because I have a public IP address. The next thing we are going to do is SSH into this EC2 instance in the public subnet. And from this instance, we are going to SSH into the instance in the private subnet. If you don't know how to SSH into an instance in the private subnet, make sure you come here and under the WordPress project, you will see the video here on how to SSH into an instance in the private subnet. So first I'm going to SSH into this EC2 instance in the public subnet and I'll use body to do that. And I have SSH into my instance in the public subnet. From this EC2 instance, I'm going to SSH into the instance in the private subnet. And there you go. I have now SSH into my EC2 instance in the private subnet. I'm going to maximize this so you can see. So once you have SSH into your EC2 instance in the private subnet, you can now run the command to copy the files from your S3 bucket into whatever directory you want to copy them to on your EC2 instance. This is the command we are going to use to copy the file from our S3 bucket. The first command is to change to root user. The second command is to update our web server. And the third command is to copy the file from our S3 bucket into the directory we want to copy it to. I'm going to dock this next to each other so you can see it. And next, let's type sudo su to change to root user. 
And once you change to root user, we can now update our server. I'll type yum update minus y. And there is no packages mark for update, meaning that our server is up to date. The next thing we are going to do now is we are going to use this command to copy the files from our S3 bucket into a directory on this EC2 instance. For this example, I want to copy the file into my current directory. So if I want to see my current directory, I'm going to type pwd. Currently, I am in the EC2 user directory and the address is home slash ec2 and this is the directory i want to copy my files to in your case whatever directory you want to copy your file to make sure you know the address of that directory so what we are going to do is first we are going to update this information here with the name of our s3 bucket so i'm going to go back to the management console and i'm going to navigate to s3 I'm going to select my bucket and up here just copy your bucket name i'm going to copy it and let's open that notepad and i'm going to paste that bucket name there and i have pasted my bucket name the next thing i want to do is enter the parts to the directory where i want to copy these files to so in my example i said i want to copy them to the home slash ec2 user directory and that is what I'm going to put in here. I'm going to delete that. And I'll type home slash ec2 user. So make sure you update this to whatever directory you want to copy the files to. And once you've entered the information, I'm just going to copy this command. And I'm going to paste it in here. And press enter. And you can see that I have downloaded all those files from my S3 bucket into my EC2 instance in the private subnet. If I want to verify that this file is in that directory, currently I am in the same directory. So if I type ls, and you can see all those files are there, right here. You can see everything here. And this is how you copy a file into an EC2 instance in the private subnet. If you have any question, please leave a comment. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.